Number four, I think this is actually the hardest problem on the test, although people did better on this one than they did on number three. Uh, part A is just asking you to find theta. You've got a ball on a string, it's going in a circle, uh, and, and it tells you the speed, it gives you the mass, let me write that down, the mass is 1.5 kilograms, so it's a pretty heavy mass. Speed is 4 meters per second, so it's moving kind of fast, but not too bad. And uh, <clears throat> there you go. So step one is you have to identify forces. The forces on this thing are gravity's pulling it down and tension's pulling it up. But tension comes in two parts, the x part and the y part. There we go. Okay, so this is your Tx here, Tx, and this is your Ty part here. So T is given as, uh, the vector is given as some amount times T uh, sine theta and cos theta. where the x part goes in, so this gets a negative sign, okay? The y part goes up. Notice uh, this angle up here is the same as this angle here. If you wanted to call theta the angle at the bottom, that's fine. You'll just have to flip your sines and cosines. Uh, but there you go. That's it. Um, so that's t. Now we don't know what t is, but we do know that it's a function of the angle. Now the other piece that you have to get from this picture is this r down here. R is equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of theta. And that's 0.6, because this is 600 millimeters, which is 0.6 meters times the sine of theta. That's R. Okay? Now, uh, from there, we just do Newton's second law. So we say sum of the forces equals MA. And we add up our forces. We've got tension. We've got gravity. So this is going to be T sine theta, cos theta, plus gravity, which is zero minus mg, equals, and there's your sum of the forces, see that? Tension, gravity, and then uh, this is equal to ma, so this is going to be some mass times a, uh, and we can call this uh, x double dot, or phi double dot, or uh, rho double dot, I'll call it x double dot, and y double dot. <coughs> okay? And uh, there we go, except that now we know the answer to this. We know why, double dot. How fast is that thing, that marble, accelerating up or down? It's not, it's just going in a horizontal circle. So this is zero. And we know this. It's going in a circle. That means it's accelerating towards the center. That means this is V squared over R. And it gives you V. Okay, so now we've got two equations. Um, and two unknowns. So we write this out. The equation number one is going to be um, <clears throat> minus T sine theta is equal to minus V squared over 0.6 sine theta. See where I got that? Minus T sine theta came here plus zero equals that. Oh, I forgot my mass. That's important. There we go. <clears throat> okay. And then the, the, the uh, y part is going to give me this. T cos theta minus mg equals zero. Two equations. Two unknowns. The algebra is a little bit messy here because uh, you've got sines and cosines everywhere. This actually, this one down here is the one that throws you off. Uh, makes it a little bit tricky. But it's still not too bad. Uh, in the end, your M's are going to cancel out, your T's are going to cancel out, and, and it's going to be a relatively simple equation. Uh, you'll have to use solve function on your calculator to get it. You can, well, let me show you what you get. You're going to divide this equation by this equation. The negative signs go away here. And so when you divide this equation by this equation, the T's go away, and you're left with a 
tan theta on the left side. Okay, so we're going to have tan theta here. See, because T sine theta over T cos theta is just going to be tan. The T's cancel out. And then on the right side, we're going to move this mg over here. So we're going to have negative v squared times m over 0 0.6. I'm going to write L. L sine theta divided by mg, which means that you have tan theta times sine theta equals v squared over LG. <clears throat> and then you got to get theta out of that. How do you do that? Well, you've got solve functions on your calculator. I like to plot this one on y equals on my, on my TI-80 whatever, TI-84 is what I have. And so I plot this as y equals 1, and I plot this as y equals 2, and where the two intersect, there you go, that's the answer. You can use the intersections value on your uh, tool on your calculator. There's other ways to do it if you have a fancier calculator. Anyway, you get theta out of that. Theta is, uh, let's see, 70.84 degrees. That's the answer to part A. Now as long as we're here, let's go ahead and find a couple other things. Let's find the initial angular speed. That's V over R. Now that you know theta, you can get R. Once you know R, you can get omega. So omega initial is 7.058 radians per second. Now as long as we're here, let's find I initial. That's just going to be mr squared. Now you know theta, you know r. You know mass before, so now you can get i initial. i initial is uh, 0.4818 kilogram meters squared. You didn't need to find these for part A. This is the answer for part A, but you need to find these for part B. So you either do them now or come back and get them later. Um, but let me show you where I put the points. I put you, gave you five points for recognizing this. Five points right there. That's huge. Five points for each of your two equations here. And it was worth 15 points. There you go. That's how you do this problem. Okay? Uh, I'll come back and do part B in just a second.